All right, boys, today we'll be ranking every single Perca-Cola from Treyarch Zombies. This will be so fun. To be honest, I always wanted to drink some of these sodas. I remember back in the day when a soda pop only cost a nickel. My dad would give me a penny a day as allowance, and at the end of the week, I could afford a Coke from the vending machine. The irony being that your son would also become a Coke addict. Different kind of Coke, of course. Hey, leave Hunter out of this, Barack. Your crackhead son aside, Joe, what's with the aviators? Just felt like it. I'm not the same Joe you knew before, you could say. I mean, you all know I always rock the AVs anyways. Well, I'm sure you're just as dementia-ridden as always, Sleepy Joe. Your fancy Knight Rider shades won't change that. Shut up, Jack. Moving on, this tier list consists of every perk from World at War up to Cold War zombies. Uh, what about Vanguard zombies? Those demon blood fountains are pretty different from the usual perks. Oh, you want to rank Vanguard perks, Joe? Okay, allow me. Fiendish Fortitude, F, Ethereal Haste, F, Diabolical Damage, F, Venomous Vigor, F, and last but least, Demonic Frenzy, F. We'll just give them their own tier, actually. They're that bad. You have to buy them like five times to get the full effect. A massive step down from Cold War's perk system. It's worse than Black Ops 4 somehow. Geez, I get it, man. You all can't understand how goaded Vanguard is. It's fine. Shut the hell up, Joe. Let's just get started. We have over 40 of these to talk about. First up is the OG Quick Revive. I mean, it's a pretty useful utility in co-op and a necessity in solo games. It's gotta be S tier. I mean, I agree, but we do gotta mention that you only get three uses of it on solo, then it's gone for good. I think that bumps it down to A tier. Well, I hate fish, and according to every character, it tastes fishy, so F tier. Joe, you bumbling buffoon. We're not judging them based on taste, otherwise they'd almost all go in F. Hell, according to the ingredients visible on the cans in Cold War, a lot of these would actually kill you if you drank them. That said, I have to agree with Donald, this is an A-tier perk. Well, another reason Joe might not like it is because he never uses it in co-op. He's the noob who's always getting revived. I can settle on A-tier, though. Speed Cola is up next. Speed Cola speeds up your life. That it does, Joe. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist in real life. Your slow ass would really benefit from a swig of it. Oh, come on, man. Speed Cola also makes you use equipment and repair barriers faster as well. I'd say it's an S tier as well. Fine by me. Yeah, it's just simply one of the best. Okay, do we even need to discuss this next one? Jug is an easy S tier. For sure. Yeah, this shit is a lifesaver. I'd never make it past round 10 without my jug. Okay, S tier it is. On to double tap. This perk sucks. It just makes you waste ammo. Wow, Obama, so wrong. Maybe just let go of your trigger when you're done shooting and you won't use any more ammo than you need to. I like the jingle. It makes me feel like a rootin', tootin', sick shootin' cowpoke. Joe, are you ever gonna add anything of substance to this discussion? Anyways, I gotta agree with Barry. Double tap sucks. Especially when compared to its far superior 2.0 version. I mean, hell, it was so unnecessary, they removed it from Ascension on BO1. Fair points, George, but I still think it's at least a B tier. I mean, Cowboys can't shoot slow after all, or they'll end up below. And what do they do when they need some help? Why, they reach for the root beer shelf. Uh, Donald, I'll compromise at C tier if you promise to never give us your shitty rendition of a perk jingle ever again. I actually liked it, Don. You sounded good. C tier is fine with me. Well, now that we're at this perk, I have something to get off my chest. I did not care for PhD Flopper. What? Did not care for PhD Flopper. How can you even say that, Don? Didn't like it. Donald, it's so good. It's like the perfect perk. You see, this is what everyone says. No explosive damage or fall damage. You explode when you dolphin dive. I, I know, fine features did not like the perk. Explain yourself, Donald. What don't you like about it? It insists upon itself, Obama. What? It insists upon itself. Well, what does that even mean? It's a god tier perk, Donald. It's meant to be insistent. You rarely actually use explosive weapons, never ever die from fall damage, and the explosive dolphin diving isn't that practical in most situations. I mean, I've never even bought it. You've never bought it? How, how can you say you don't like it? You've never even given it a chance. I agree with George. It's not really fair. I mean, I've tried on three different occasions to get it out of the wonder fizz on Origins. Could never get it. Donald, it's a rare perk. You have to keep trying. And the jingle. I can't understand a word it's singing. It's like it's in a different language. It's singing in a language of subtlety, Donald, something you clearly don't understand. I love PhD Slider. That is my answer to that statement. 
whatever. I uh, like that perk too. Let's just throw PhD in A tier. This reference has gone on long enough. Next up is stamina. Up. I wish this drink was real. Lord knows these old slow bones could use it. You said it, not me. I can't even tell you how useful this perk is, especially on maps like Transit and Origins. I used to never buy this perk, actually, but Origins, with all of its mud and huge layout, made me a certified stamina up enjoyer. Sounds like most of us are in agreement. Can we put this one in S tier? Fine with me, Sleepy. Drop that shit faster than the Dow Jones dropped during your presidency. Well, next up is Deadshot Daiquiri. Not gonna lie, this perk is ass. Yeah, seriously, if you need to waste a perk slot to hit your headshots, then you're either a complete and total noob or Joe. Damn it, oh bummer, why are you being mean to me too? I'm supposed to be your best friend. You are, but you're also a noob. I will admit, though, you have definitely improved since we first started playing together. Really, I disagree. He still sucks, just like this perk. No wonder it's so cheap. Hell, I wouldn't take this shit for free. Yeah, especially when you play on PC, because you don't even get the auto-aim to the head effect. F tier. Agreed. OG Deadshot is lame as fuck. The jingle is pretty fire, though. Next up is Donkey Punch, uh, I mean Mule Kick. Another mid perk. Mule Kick has way more drawbacks than benefits. Having three guns isn't really that important on most maps. Now hold on, Carrot Top. This perk isn't all that bad. I mean, yeah, it is annoying trying to figure out what your Mule Kick gun is sometimes. And the 4,000 point price tag is hefty. But during Easter eggs and high rounds on some maps, that extra gun's ammo will be the difference between life or death. Well, personally, I hate this perk because it reminds me of Mexico, F tier. They never paid for my big, beautiful wall. Well, your racist remark aside, Don, this perk is a mixed bag for sure. Can we settle on C? I don't give a flying fuck. Just put it there so I don't have to think about it anymore. Oh no, boys, look what's up next. Joe, what do you have to say about this perk? He really fell asleep? I mean, I get that. Tombstone is a boring perk. Let me give him a call. I know he wants to talk about Tombstone. Huh? Hello, do you know what time it is? Who is this and why are you calling in the middle of the night? Yo, dumbass, it's four o'clock in the afternoon and you fell asleep when we were talking about Tombstone on this Perca-Cola tier list. Get your ass back here. Sorry, guys, I'm back, but yes, Tombstone is an awesome perk. I bleed out a lot, so I'm happy to know my stuff will still be there. Uh, that's if you can get to it in time. Do you forget what map this shit perk is on, Joe? Transit. I love the map, but it's too big to make use of this perk. On town, it's all right. It can be used to get more than four perks. That's about all it's good for. F tier. Yeah, nobody's really disagreeing it's bad, but I'd put it in D tier. It does have some utility. Agreed, D tier is best for it. Okay, but let's all agree the jingle is an S tier. It is pretty fire. Now here's an actual double tap worth talking about. 2.0 is a crutch perk in every sense of the word. Bullet weapons require this for the high rounds. 100% agree. They turned a shit perk to a god tier one. Kind of like how in 2021, America switched out a shitty president for a god tier one. Fake news. Yeah, I love you, Joe, but your presidency has not been god tier by any means. You're just wrong, Barry. We built this country back better. Kind of like how Double Tap 2.0 built the perk back better. Joe, no way you actually think of yourself as that good of a POTUS. You're starting to sound like Donald. Regardless, Double Tap 2 is for sure an S tier. Any objections? No problems with that. I've noticed a lot of these early perks were just godly. Yeah, seriously, this perk has to go in S. Joe, you about to tell us how much you love who's who? Nah, it makes me confused. A lot of the time, I don't know who's who in real life. Like, I don't even know who the president is sometimes. I don't want a perk reminding me of my mental decline. Wow, that's actually kind of sad, mostly for the country since your old ass is running the show, but sad nonetheless. Damn, Donald, chill. Back to talking about who's who. Aside from the base jingle, the perk is far more of a detriment than an actual help, especially on a shit map like Die Rise. I love Die Rise, but I gotta agree. I mean, when you go down, sometimes you spawn nowhere near your body. And even then, you only have the M1911. You have zero shot of reviving yourself if you don't have quick revive. We can all agree this shit is F tier, right? Uh, yeah, say, did you guys know this perk was called chug a butt in the game files? Shut the hell up, Joe, nobody cares. Now here's a great perk. 
Electric Cherry, it fit Mob of the Dead perfectly and really can save your ass. Yeah, but what's the perk jingle? We'll never know what the perk jingle sounded like. Just like how we'll never know what happened to Saddam's WMDs. Well, I can clear that one up for you, George. You fucking lied about them. True, Donald, very true. But yeah, really, it is a solid B-tier perk, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think that fits. It's not crazy overpowered, but it's helpful. I can settle on B-tier. Vulture 8 Elixir is up next. This perk was fucking awesome. I mean, you get free money and ammo. I love making money, after all. Someone's got to pay those legal bills, right, Donnie? Nope, I'm innocent. Also, you could step in that green stink and smell like Joe, which would hide you from the zombies. First off, screw you, you cabbage head. Secondly, this perk helped me a lot because it'd show you everything on the map, like perks, weapons, the box, etc. My ass would never forget anything again on Buried. So how about A tier? For sure, A tier sounds like the best placement. Next is Widow's Wine. This is my favorite perk of all time, S tier. Why, does it remind you of all the widows you made after doing 9-11? Holy shit, Obunga, you're going nuclear on everyone tonight. Keep calling me Obunga and you'll be next Trump. I'll leak that P-tape with you faster than you can say fake news. Get him, Barry. But yeah, Widows is pretty good. The only issue is those damn annoying Widows wine grenades can sometimes end the round when you're trying to save a zombie. How many times do we need to tell you to just throw them away, Joe? He'll never change. He'll never change. Ever since he was VP, always the same. Couldn't keep his Widows grenades from killing the last zombie. Why do I feel like you're always referencing something, Obama? Just calling out Joe's chicanery. Uh, anyway, I think this perk belongs in S tier as well. I can agree with that. Look at you being rational, Joe. All righty, boys. S it is then. Next up is the start of the BO4 perks, starting with Quick Revive. Well, it functions exactly as it always has, only this time the solo revive feature is gone and just part of your base kit, so that definitely brings it down a bit. We do got to talk about the modifier, though. It makes you get a speed boost after your health regen starts, and reviving a teammate gives you both a speed boost. That's true, Donald, but as a BO4 expert, I can tell you nobody's ever going to put Quick Revive in their modifier slot. I mean, Joe, your dumbass puts Blaze Phase in their modifier slot. Not really that much of an expert, are you? He does have a point, though. To me, BO4 Quick Revive is a B tier. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Let's drop it there. We have lots more to talk about. Uh, next up is Bandolier Bandit. I'm thinking A tier. I mean, it's literally more ammo. It is pretty solid. I mean, it has no drawbacks like some other perks and has a really simple yet useful ability. The ammo increase isn't massive or anything, but on certain guns is pretty helpful. I think it is more of a B tier though. Yeah, and the modifier is nothing crazy. Just reload your weapon when stowed. It's good with very specific guns, but otherwise not very noticeable. I was leaning C tier because it feels kind of useless, but Donald's right, it can be helpful. I knew you'd see things my way, Joe. I mean, I did write the art of the deal after all. You didn't write shit, Donald. You paid someone to do it for you. Just like how you paid Stormy Daniels to watch Shark Week and chill with you. By the way, how was being arrested the other day? I was innocent, so I never saw the inside of a jail cell. The political witch hunt will never end. Cry about it, Donald. Your ass is a criminal now. Maybe you're the bandolier bandit. Shut up, Barry. I'm putting this perk in B tier so we can move on. Next up is our beloved stamina. I mean, it's objectively better than the original, especially with the modifier slot, giving you unlimited sprint. Yeah, not much to discuss, really. It's the same old stamina up with a great modifier. Gotta go up in S tier, too. Next is Deadshot Dealer. It's a dumb name for a dumb perk. Dumb? The modifier makes you do more damage as a reward for consecutive headshots. That's pretty nifty. I'd say B tier. Well, Joe, I'd say you're a complete noob. I mean, who's ever gonna run this shit in their modifier slot? Yeah, not to mention your old ass can't hit headshots anyways. This perk is useless to you. I mean, if you're using wonder weapons, it really doesn't help. I'd put it in D tier just for the modifier, making it slightly different than the OG dead shot. Same, fuck this perk, it's absolutely repugnant. Oh, screw you guys. Well, this next one you should appreciate. Victorious Tortoise. I mean, you are slow like a turtle, Joe. <laughs> nah, that'd be your buddy bitch McConnell, Don. That old crow is not my friend. He gets along with Sleepy Joe better than me these days. Can we just talk about the perk, please? This is a great perk. I mean, it makes your shield block damage from every direction when holding it out. You're pretty much invincible. And the shield explodes when it breaks, giving you a moment to get away. The modifier isn't too crazy, but I guess can be helpful. Let's you knock down heavy zombies, 
and mini bosses with your shield bash. Sounds like we all agree this is a great perk. I'll drop it in A tier. Now here's a great perk. PhD slider is goaded for one reason and one reason specifically, the Helian Salvo. Yep. Time for a bipartisan resolution. Let's put PhD slider in A tier. Fine with me. I mean, the Helian Salvo is pretty much a wonder weapon. Oh yeah, Stone Cold Stronghold, love this perk. Of course you do, Joe. What a boring perk. It's the very definition of lackluster. Now slow your roll, Agent Orange. Joe has a point. On Alpha Omega and Tagder Toten, this perk is vital to getting an easy round 100 using the Ballistic Knives and Electric Burst. For that, it has to be at least a B tier. There's just one teeny tiny problem with what you just said, Obamna. Nobody has ever wanted to sit down and suffer through 100 rounds on Alpha Omega. Uh, I have. Well, I agree with Donald about that map. I mean, cleaning slimy air vents every few rounds to open Pat back up is stupid as fuck. But Stone Cold Stronghold is a great camping perk. Yeah, but camping is futile on most maps. Training the zombies is where it's at. Donald, stop your bitching. You're just hating because it's a BO4 perk. This shit is going in B tier whether your spray tanned ass likes it or not. Whatever, shoulder sniffer. Time slip is up next. This is a pretty solid perk, to be honest. Makes the box spin faster, gives you your gun from Pack-A-Punch quicker, and makes your equipment cool down shorter. Reminds me of that time I slipped on a banana peel. Joe, you fucking cartoon character. But I agree with Obama. Time slip is a pretty solid perk. Seems like a waste to me. Are you really that impatient that you can't spend a couple secs getting your guns? C tier for me. C tier? You're fucking nuts. It's a great perk. A tier. The modifier makes it recharge your elixirs and specialist weapons faster too. Chill with the vulgarity, Mr. Top Gun Shades. How about we meet in the middle at B? Whatever. Now this is a god tier perk. Winter's Whale is objectively better than Widow's Wine. Well, I don't know if I agree with that, Don, but it is very strong. Well, I don't know if I agree with the way you handled Hurricane Katrina, but that's just me. Donald is right, though. It is better. You don't usually have to worry about ending the round early like with the Widow's Grenades, either. This shit is broken as fuck. And it doesn't remind me of those scary spiders, either. S tier. Okay, Joe, you pussy. Finally using that brain of yours, I see. I guess I can agree with you guys. S tier is cool with me. I think I'm gonna be sick. Death perception. Yeah, this shit is one of the worst perks of all time. Only noobs get any benefit from it. Well, I guess we know who loves this perk. I mean, I can see zombies through the wall with this perk. I never get snuck up on and scared again. The only positive I can concede about this perk is the modifier lets you deal extra damage to special enemies. But if you run this perk as your modifier, you are fucking slow in the head. So F tier then? Yep. Next is Electric Burst. I mean, it's just Electric Cherry, not much of a difference. I'd say it goes right next to the original. Yeah, it's exactly the same, pretty much. The modifier pretty much lets you get pop shocks with your melee weapon, but it's not enough of a benefit to bump it up any more than B tier. I think we're all in agreement on this one. Oh, it's my favorite perk of all time. Right next to Blaze Phase, of course. Dying Wish has saved my runs more times than I can count, which is four, by the way. You can't count higher than four? Of course he can't. Are you surprised? He does make a good point, though. Dying Wish is the ultimate crutch perk. This has to go in S tier. I hate to agree with you two socialists, but it really is broken beyond belief. I think the guy Dick Cheney shot in the face with his shotgun during that hunting trip must have had Dying Wish. He recovered pretty quickly. Still can't believe that guy was your Veep, George. What were you thinking? Dude's a real life supervillain. I mean, Joe, you picked your VP based on affirmative action, so you have no room to talk. Let's just drop Dying Wish in S tier, like how you dropped the ball on the Afghan withdrawal. All righty, next up is BO4 Mule Kick. Well, it's definitely better than the previous versions of Mule Kick, because Treyarch actually used their brains for a second and added an icon to let you know what your third gun was. And the modifier lets you swap weapons faster and get your Mule Kick gun back after rebuying Mule Kick if you go down. Yeah, but it still reminds me of Mexico. At least that annoying ass jingle isn't in BO4. Uh, yeah, but I would have taken the original jingles over the boring Wonder Fizz jingles from BO4. Still, Mule Kick in this game is a solid BE tier. The changes made were actually super good. Well, I think it's still an F tier, but whatever you corrupt creatures of the swamp want to do is fine. Fuck you, Donald, but okay, B tier is cool. Next is Ethereal Razor. Pretty solid perk in my opinion. Yeah, having a stronger melee that also heals you is nice, and 
you do a swipe attack instead of lunging towards the zombies, giving you some distance. And the modifier for the perk makes your melee a one-hit kill forever. Super overpowered. I'd say it's top of B tier. Not like you'll be meleeing the whole game except for certain high round strats. Yeah, that's true. B tier works for me if it works for Donnie and Joe. Yeah, I guess that's cool with me. I think it should be A tier, but I can compromise. Well, this next perk is the very definition of mid zom shell. Mid, this shit is just like Vulture Aid. Like a watered down version of Vulture Aid, maybe. Kind of like how your presidency is just a shittier version of Barack's. I don't know, I kind of like it. That contamination field that slows down the zombies can be helpful. And the modifier letting you stand in it to hide from the zombies can be a saving grace. Yeah, but again, who's ever gonna waste their modifier slot with this shit? I can settle on B tier. There are some benefits, but it's nothing great. Well, I think it's like a D tier, but whatever, Obamna. Ooh, I love this one. Reminds me of Hunter and his fursuit. Your son is a freak. Yeah, gotta agree with Donald. He's clearly smoked too much of that Parmesan cheese. So what if my son is a furry? He's an imaginative little boy. As long as he's happy, I'm a happy father. Yeah, that's fine. And Dandy Joe, there's just one little problem. Your son is 53 years old. Okay, roasting Creepy Joe and his creepy son is fun and all, but can we talk about Blood Wolf Bite now? I mean, it is kind of cool how you summon a wolf to kill zombies. Luna is a good pupper, and we must protect her at all costs. She's useless. She always manages to get in my way. I'd hunt her down and wear her as a coat if I could. Jesus Christ, Donald, you're cruel. It can be useful with the modifier she drops ammo. And on Ancient Evil specifically, you can get infinite ammo with the gauntlet wonder weapons, ensuring an easy round 100. For that alone, I'd say it's another B-tier perk. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I remember getting to round 100 on Ancient Evil using that strat. Okay, I can justify putting it in B-tier then. Wow, Donald actually taking someone else's opinion into account. Never thought I'd see the day. I'm the most humble person of all time, believe me. Let's put this in B-tier if there are no objections. Oh, God. Next up is Blaze Phase, Joe, I swear if you... Easy S-tier. No sleepy, Joe. This shit is fucking garbage. Worst perk in history. How do you use this god-awful perk, Joe? It's so useless. Think about it, boys. It lets you get across the map at top speed and kill any meat sacks standing in your way. What's not to love? Uh, literally everything you just said. Come on, man. With the modifier, you can dash infinitely until you hit a wall or surface. Wow, I can think of exactly zero situations where that would be helpful. Sorry, Joe. This shit is going to go in F tier. You're not convincing anyone. Well, last up from BO4 is Secret Sauce. Not sure why this shit is even on here. It's just a random perk. Hey, Donnie. Melania swallowed my Secret Sauce last night. Shut the fuck up, Joe. You and I both know your shit doesn't work anymore, you fucking geezer. Donald, you're like four years younger than Joe. Chill. Well, since it is totally random, Secret Sauce has got to go in C tier. Makes sense to me. Let's just get a move on to Cold War. Well, first up is Deadshot Daiquiri. Even though I'm a Cold War hater, the perk system was innovative and fun. Deadshot is actually usable in this game. Who would have thought? I say we rank the perks based on their Tier 5 versions. Makes sense to me. Well, Deadshot in Tier 5 has a lot of great benefits, like your headshot damage is insane and your hip fire spread is reduced, too. They really gave Deadshot the glow up of the century, the perk machine included. I'd say it's a solid A tier. For once, I actually agree with you, Sleepy. A tier is a good spot to me too. Let's drop it and move on. This quick revive is actually really great. I mean, at tier five, you can revive yourself just by getting a kill. If you're downed, you lose the perk, but you can just buy it back. Yeah, reviving Joe has never been easier. I mean, he can crawl faster when downed if he has this perk too, and your health fully regens after reviving an ally. I'd say this is another A tier. The only thing that keeps it out of S tier is that not everyone plays co-op, so some of the effects are pointless in that regard. Good points, Barry. I can agree with A tier, too. Yep, same. Look at us actually agreeing on stuff. If only Republicans and Democrats agreed on policy as much as we are about Call of Duty zombies. Well, next up is Speed Cola. Again, it's just a better version of the original. It can't go any lower than S. You're right, but we can quickly talk about it. Hey, Joe, tier five has your beloved time slip as part of it. Yep, another reason why Cold War's perk system is goaded beyond belief. All right, S tier it is then. Next up is Jug, another S tier. I mean, this version has Dying Wish as part of its tier five. No wonder Joe has actually gotten to round 100 on this game considering how overpowered you can be. Nah, I'm just good, George. 
Joke of the century right there, you're still a noob. The old me might have been, but this me is great at zombies. Not sure what you mean by that, Joe, but you did piss your pants at the clowns on Spaceland the other night. Well, that's just a phobia. I also carried by weight during that boss fight, which is one of the hardest in co-op, might I add. Good point. You shocked us all with how good you managed to do during Spaceland. Regardless, let's drop Jug in S and move on to Stamina Up. Again, it's another OP perk, no fall damage, which actually helps on Outbreak increase speed while ADS Unlimited Sprint, it's just godly. Obunga, don't you already run at full sprint given your complexion? Fuck you, you fat racist pumpkin. Calm down, gentlemen. Let's just put this in S tier so we can move on to more interesting perks. Elemental pop reminds me of corn pop. Damn it, Joe. Didn't I tell you to never mention him again? I miss my man corn pop. We were enemies turned lovers. Those days at the pool were the most magical of my life. Was I visit corn pop's grave once a year to put flowers on it. Not another fucking word from you. Stop talking to both of you. We have a perk to rank. Elemental pop is pretty good. The perk jingle is catchy as hell, and the machine is hella kawaii. I don't really like it that much. I mean, it does have electric cherry as one of its tiers, but I don't like how it can pop an alternate ammo type when I don't want it to usually brain rot ending the round. Good point, Donald. How about B tier? I can live with that. I think it's more of an S tier, and Donald is being a nitpicky little bitch. Yeah, me too. We got to compromise at A tier. Whatever, dumb Democrats always imposing your will on everyone else. Mule kick yet again. Definitely a great perk in this game, though. I agree. The fact that it actually makes the zombies drop ammo upon death sometimes is huge. And an extra equipment slot and the chance to not take your equipment after using it are all great features. Glad you can appreciate this goaded perk, Donald. I'd say it's an A tier myself. Yeah, that's true. A tier is fine. My beloved tombstone back after nearly a decade. Of course, Joe loves the perks that involve going down to get use out of them. That's newbie sleepy Joe for you. To be honest, this perk is more of who's who than it is Tombstone, but actually decent. Yeah, this perk is kind of glitchy sometimes too, while in your dark ether form trying to revive yourself. It's probably one of the weaker Cold War perks. How about C tier? You took the words right out of my mouth, Obama. Yeah, this perk is kind of mid, like the rest of y'all's presidencies. I know you're not calling our presidencies mid-George. You left office with horrible approval numbers. Still, I think Tombstone is an S tier. The only thing you're right about is George's time in office being disastrous. Tombstone is still not a great perk. We're dropping this shit in C tier whether you like it or not, Joe. PhD slider, an actual good version of this perk. Well, PhD has always been good, you orange goblin. But this version is pretty wicked. I love how far you can slide with it. Sounds like they ripped off banana colada. Joe, I'm surprised you know what that even is. Me and Joe ran some customs the other night and that perk was on the map. It quickly became one of Joe's favorites. That's good for you, Slippy Sloppy Joe. Um, PhD slider in this game is pretty good, but not God tier or anything. I'd put it in A tier alongside its previous counterparts. Yeah, fair point. The perk isn't essential or anything, but is a lot of damn fun. Makes the overpowered ray gun even better. Okay, on to the last perk then, finally. I'm about to fall asleep. Speaking of falling asleep, next up is death perception. This perk was catered to outbreak mode, which is the most unfun mode ever. Yeah, this perk is pretty pointless in the round-based maps. Really, the only small benefit is the extra salvage it gives you. Seeing zombies through walls is a noob ability. You guys are just hating. Outbreak is a valid zombies experience. Cry some more, Sleepy Joe. This perk is dog shit D tier. Yep, I agree. Sorry, Joe. Well, that took forever. Glad we got through it, though. I think this is a solid tier list, though. I don't even want to imagine what it would have looked like if Joe was in charge of it. Fuck you, President Tangerine. I was just having fun with my boys. We're glad you were here, Joe. Seriously, we love you, even Donnie. I do not. I know the truth about Donald's feelings towards me, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Well, this was fun, guys. I got to go. There's a senior discount at Baskin Robbins today. Got to get my 31 flavor fix. Fucking Joe and his ice cream. He's a good guy. He does seem a little different lately, though. Yeah, true. Oh, well, maybe it's the shades he's wearing. I gotta go, too, though. Yeah, Michael, I mean, Michelle wants me to give her a foot massage. Say, Donald, want to run the Origins Easter egg or something for old time's sake? Sure. I call ice staff, though. I'll take fire, then. I love shooting down that plane for the staff part. Of fucking course you do. Bet you wish you could have shot down a certain plane in 2001. Walked right into that one. Just load up plutonium and join up.
President Obama here. Thank you for watching. This video took a while to make. Hope it was worth it. Thank you for all the positive responses on all my videos lately. In case you missed it, our official Discord server is now open. Would love to have you all join us there to discuss zombies and participate in server events with us. The link will be in the description. Our community is getting bigger every day, and I thank you all for that. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. As always, God bless.